Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. We are right here at Wild Time with Miss Allison Davis. Hey, hey. And what do we got going on this week? You've got bacon, my favorite. Of well, course. I mean, where I come from, everybody's talking about Keeneland and horse racing, yeah, right? right? So I wanted to kind of do a little something that I thought would be perfect for a Keeneland tailgate. Awesome. And that's a little candied bacon and Bloody Marys, oh, right? Because that's yes. kind of the perfect start <laughs> to a day at the races. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I've got mm. some bacon. The first thing that I like to do, and I want to make clear is that how you set it up on a wire rack yeah. is important to getting the bacon really crisp uh -huh. so that things can kind of fall off and it has an opportunity to bubble up and, cr and crisp. Okay. okay. So I have a sheet tray lined with parchment paper. Okay. I have a wire rack and then I've laid my bacon on top of the wire rack mm -hmm. and then we're going to kind of make our little candied mixture. Okay. So I have some brown sugar going in here. Okay. The brown sugar is what's going to caramelize and have that candy effect. It's going to bubble up and really make it nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. um, I like to go with a little bit of cinnamon mm -hmm. and then I like to use some cayenne as well. Okay. And then another spice that I like to put in there sometimes is um, Chinese five spice. It's got all the flavors yeah. um, that I think go well. It has some cinnamon already in it but also has clove, fennel, and black pepper oh. so it just is well rounded and perfect to mm -hmm. go you know with the bacon perfect so we'll add a little bit of that chinese I've five never, spice I've never used the chinese five spice can you get i mean that's just in the yeah. spice section yeah with all the you others. can just get the um blend anywhere okay. this is private selection so i think this came from kroger, kroger yep. all okay. right so we've got our uh brown sugar our spices now one thing you could do you can go with a dry rub and mm -hmm. just kind of sprinkle it on yeah you know if you want to do one of those yeah go ahead and and I'll show you another one okay. that I like to do. Can I actually put too much or is there never enough? I don't think there's enough <laughs> because again it's going to really bubble up and crisp up. Yeah. The other thing you can do is add a little couple drops of bourbon yeah. into that mixture okay. and that'll make it more like a wet paste. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If you want to see what we're doing there. See how it kind of just comes yep. nice and wet. And then we can take that, and that just gives ah. a little bit of that bourbon flavor, you know, to our bacon. Nice. So you I keep like doing it. that, and I'm going to whip okay. up a little Bloody Mary okay, here. Okay, that sounds good. All right, I was just recently in Texas, so I'm going to go with Tito's today. All right. Um, but a um, very simple Bloody Mary for me. We're going to go with some ice. I've actually even made bourbon Bloody Marys if you wanted to sub in bourbon for the vodka. No, I've never tried that. And I'm not I've measuring. I'll hear, I'll hear it from Troy later, but who <laughs> measures on a Bloody Mary, right? <laughs> All right, so a good Bloody Mary mix. I like Zing Zang or yeah. Clamato. So you just kind of go maybe two parts of vodka, one part of uh, Bloody Mary mix. Uh -huh. And then I like to go with a shot of these two guys. I don't know if you've seen this, but this is a Chipotle Tabasco sauce. Yes, yes. It's not just Tabasco. It's got that smoky Chipotle. Nice. Perfect for Bloody Marys, right? So a couple dashes of that, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I also sometimes like to go with a fresh lime. Um, in there because I really like citrus. Oh, you really load this up. This yeah. Is good. Oh, yeah. No, we gotta we gotta do it right. She's and then my it. husband and I, we always like to set up like a little, especially like for Keeneland. Yeah. We'll put these in like little mason jars, but little um, condiments that you can like go put into your Bloody Mary. Uh huh. Like these are little pickled green beans, you know, that can go in there. Some oh, little um, gherkins or cocktail um, onions. And then again, once these come out of the oven, we'll have a nice big piece of candied bacon we can sit in there. And you've got, you know, breakfast in a glass. That is fantastic. <laughs> okay, I've got these done. So you put these in the oven then? Is that? That's right. That's yeah, deal? we're going to slide them right in the oven. Okay. And then these are going to go for probably, I'd say, a good 15 minutes. Okay. It's really, you, you're going to just have to watch it uh -huh. and get to that nice crisp stage. Okay. And then as soon as they come out of the oven, um, you'll want to take a butter knife and run them right underneath. Otherwise, they'll stick and adhere to the oh, tray. So, that's so as soon tray. as they come out while they're still hot, yeah. run a knife underneath them and then let them cool and they should cool and crisp up and be good to go. And they're ready to go. Well, for this recipe and many other recipes, head over to our website at WTVQ.com forward slash Midday Kentucky or you can go to our um, recipes tab, yeah, the recipes tab yeah. on the Midday Kentucky website. But also, you can, go to, yes, you can go to Allison's website at WildTimeCooking.com. And we'll be right back right after this short break. We're going to we might try a little taste of this. I promise we haven't yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.